Hi everybody, today we want to have a look at a very important vowel sound, the schwa. Now, what is the schwa, you might wonder? The schwa is the mid-central vowel sound. Sometimes it's also called the neutral vowel sound. I think a better description would be to call it the laziest sound of English. Why? Well, because of the way we form it. The schwa is really easy to produce. You only have to relax, move your vocal cords, and produce a short sound really effortlessly. So just have a look. Uh. Uh. We actually pr produce the sound quite often, for example, in moments when we don't know what to say. Uh. 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 It's this sound, okay? Really easy. You don't really have to position your tongue or your jaw in a special way. You just relax and move your vocal cords and produce a sound. Uh, short and easy, the lazy sound. Now, here are some examples. Again, memory, father, so you can see the letters in orange are where you hear a schwa sound, an uh sound. I'll repeat the first word. Again. It's really short. Uh. Again. Memory. Uh. In between the m and the r. And father. Uh. Right at the end. Now, why is it called the schwa, because all the other sounds did not have a name. They just had a symbol and obviously a sound. But this one here is special, it's got a name. And there is a reason for that. This is the word schwa comes from Hebrew and it means emptiness. It was spelt slightly different, obviously. But it was first used by German linguists. And when they spell schwa in German, they would spell it with an S-C-H. That is why we really have um, the spelling schwa with S-C-H. And emptiness is really maybe um, the wrong word because obviously there is a sound, but it's not really a sound of big value. It's very short and that is where the name comes from, okay? So we call it the schwa. And it is very important because it is the most common vowel sound. And we'll hear a little bit more about this in another video, what happens with vowel reduction. But first of all, where can we find the schwa? Only in unstressed syllables, okay? So if the syllable is stressed, you know already the vowel sounds in the syllable will not be a schwa, okay? Because the schwa can only be found in unstressed syllables. Remember, it is extremely short, this sound. Uh, okay, it's not a long vowel sound, it's very short. Here are some more examples. Mother. Again, computer. So here in computer, you have it twice. Come, uh, in the middle between k and m, mm, come. And then the stress is on pu, compu, and then right at the end, t. Computer. So we've got it twice here. That can happen. You can have the schwa more than once in a word. All right, so here it's a little bit clearer because in the second line, you can see which syllable is stressed in this word. I've written the syllables that are stressed in capital letters. I also put a big circle underneath this bubble. The big bubble means this is a stressed syllable. The small bubble means this is an unstressed syllable. So I'll repeat one more time. Mother. Again. Computer. As you can see, the schwa is only in the syllables with the small bubbles. All of them are not stressed, unstressed. Okay, where else can we find the schwa? It's also present in weak forms of function words. And if you want to find out a little bit more about weak, form, weak forms, please do come back for my next video next week. It'll be all about weak forms and vowel reduction. Um, so here is an example. The word and in its weak form when we speak at natural speed becomes un. For example, Fish and chips. It's not fish and chips. N. 
the weak form of end. The, the uh sound also will be reduced to an uh. The difference is very small, I agree. B, b. And we also have the word some. Usually the O letter is an a uh sound, some, but in connected speech that gets reduced to a schwa as well. So the weak form of some is some, some. I have some friends. Okay, so here are some more examples for you. All of these words contain a schwa and I've shown you this by putting the letters in orange, okay? All the orange letters are really schwa sounds. Let's read over them and listen carefully if you can hear the schwa. Again, about, along, America. Here in America, you've got it the first and the last syllable. America. Doctor. Mother. Dollar. Computer. Pencil. Taken. Memory. Barcelona. I <laughs> was quite happy to add Barcelona, one of my hometowns, and Barcelona also contains two schwas when you say it naturally. Now, the schwa could also become silent. Remember its original meaning was emptiness, of no value. So here the schwa really does become silent altogether and you can't hear it at all. Let's have a look at some examples. So we've got the word different and different, there is a very short schwa sound between the f and the r, but it could also disappear entirely and then it would sound like this, different. So you move from f to r without any vowel sound in between, different. Different with schwa, different without. Separate, separate, the short little schwa, or separate, separate. So we move from the p to the r without a vowel, separate. Every, usually with a schwa, every can also become every, every. Again, here we move from the to r without a schwa. And the last one, chocolate. There's a very short little schwa, but usually we leave it out and it's chocolate, chocolate. So here from k to l, chocolate. So the versions of these words, the pronunciation with the silent schwa are actually very common. You hear them very often. So I'm going to repeat them one more time. All of those four words without the schwa pronunciation. Different, separate, every, chocolate. Now that might take a little bit of practice for you if you're not used to having so many consonants next to one another. But just try and practice, it will get easier, I promise. Now to summarize, the schwa is the mid-central vowel sound, the most common sound in English, only found in unstressed syllables, used in weak forms, used in vowel reduction, and sometimes even silent. Now, if you are a little bit confused about why it is the most common sound, that has to do with English being a stress-timed language. Please check out my other videos on stress-timed versus syllable-timed languages and also my next video on vowel reduction and the schwa with weak forms. This is coming out next week, so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss it. But now let's practice. So here is a little test for you to see how much you have learned. Can you identify the schwa sounds? Read over these sentences, then say the sentences naturally at normal speed. 
How many schwa sounds can you identify? There's a little clue. There are 14 schwa sounds in total. Here is the solution. All of the letters in orange are really schwa sounds, 14 in total. I met some friends at four o'clock and we went for a walk in the park. The weather was beautiful and we had a great time. Apart from beautiful, all words are in their weak form. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and leave me a little comment. I would love to hear from you. And do check out some more of my videos on English pronunciation.